Hey, Rio here, and it's your week two attendance pose for CIT 82, Introduction to Web Technology. So I know this week went pretty quick. We had our first due date last night, and most of you got it done, which is awesome. Uh, I will say this again, but actually maybe I'll say it now. You, we have a relatively small class, uh, which is fine, right? I find having a little less student population, which hopefully means you get a lot more attention. So in order to get that attention, though, you have to reach out if you're having issues. Now, maybe on this first couple of weeks, hasn't been any issues, so you haven't had a need to. Okay, but if you do, I want you to understand where to get that help, right? I've posted my office hours over on the syllabus, which today I'm actually modifying the syllabus because I have to turn into the campus and I've ended up changing it to a new system that um, you're going to see more instructors start to use and it's something called simple syllabus. Looks a little different. Um, the good news is in, in the future, if you ever would need to get a syllabus from a specific instructor for a specific semester, this should make it easier for you. But what I've put in there related to this is a little bit of a blurb about Bitwise and um, parking down there. So definitely check that out if you're interested or ask me or Hangout Chat's a great way to ask questions like that because you're often not the only student having it. But generally, I'm on campus on Monday and Wednesdays from 1 to 1.50. On Tuesday, Thursdays, I'm down at Bitwise from three from 4.30 to 5.20. And then on Fridays, today, uh, which is Friday, I actually work at home. So, um, and what's kind of true about this is it doesn't really matter where I work <laughs> because I take work with me wherever I go. As a matter of fact, it's been really fun. I've been riding the bus down to Bitwise, and so I work on the bus. It takes a little bit longer than driving there because right now I don't have a car. So, but you know, it's good because in this industry, which is something many of you are drawn to, it is a lot of flexibility because wherever I have a computer, work goes with me. So I want to say this is an, um, if you're taking both CIT 82 and CIT 93, which I know there's a group that has, you are getting duplicates because uh, I'm covering some of the same information on these attendance posts. So you might start going, oh, but I, more than anything, what I want to say is that, you know, it was never intended to have students take CIT 82 at the same time they're taking 93, which is JavaScript. But because we've scheduled those courses that way, many, uh, no, I can't remember, I think there's at least half of you taking 82, 82 and 93 from me right now. So if you are, you're going to get a little bit of duplicate. Sorry about that. Um, but um, in this uh, video, I just want to just go over a couple things. One is grading. So my goal, uh, and generally I've done it, is I wake up every morning and if I get up early enough, I grade before I head to the gym. And if uh, when I get back, then I finish grading for that day. So if you've submitted work the night before, it should be graded within that 24 hours. And then the only reason it wouldn't be is if you haven't posted the required replies. That's generally the only thing that would hold up grading. So just know that, and I've started doing a thing today that I hope works because I, if you, I can put a notice or I can put a message that says, this looks good. The only thing I need is the replies. And uh, that way, when you post a reply back saying, okay, I've modified it, I've updated it, that it, before today I was not getting those messages. So I'm hoping to improve the process <laughs> of how this works so that you get better information. That's my goal. Okay. Okay. So I talked about grading. I talked about small class. The one thing, and I talked about this in the week two video, but I just want to say one other thing about it. Because why are we using GitHub? Well, in the past, I've used for, no and specifically for note taking in this class. And the reason is, is that GitHub is a basic requirement for web development. Um, everyone's going to expect you to have it. And so the more we get you working on it, the sooner we get you working on it, the better. So, but just to be clear, all of us in 82 right now are actually working on GitHub 
And what will happen, and I look, I think it's in week three, you actually going to install Git locally and Git, well, then that repo will be in your local system. And then you'll be pushing changes out to the web. So we'll make a transition and I really want you to be clued in about when that transition happens to where we no longer make changes to our files out on GitHub. We only change them locally. And I say that because students, I've had a couple students uh, last semester run into where we, once we clone the repos locally, they were still changing the web and it and it caused a little bit of synchronization because what github is is version control okay github is the website we put it but git which is part of the name uh, and what we're doing locally in a couple of weeks is version control so that means every time you change a document you get to do a commit message saying what that document what that change was, but also the Git is tracking every character change you're doing. So you might wonder why is that necessary? Well, with the, uh, software, when especially if you're working on Teams, but even if you're just working on your own repos, it's good to know how your how your code changed over time, so that in case you break something, you can see what happened. And so. I just want you to contextually understand GitHub <laughs> more than anything, because I know it's something that several of you have never been introduced to, and you got introduced to Markup this week. Um, Mark uh, Markdown, not Markup. There actually is another one called Markup, which is typically HTML. So Markdown is used quite a bit in documentation because it's just quicker than HTML, but you're going to learn a little HTML as well. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to talk about was community announcements, and um, I am involved in a local tech co technology community, and I'm actually also involved in the national uh, Google developer groups and women tech maker stuff, so I do both local and national organizing for tech communities, and we have coming up our big event um, for this part of the year, which is Valley Dev Fest, and if you want to check that out, it's going to be on October 21st, sorry, September 21st. It's normally in October. It got moved this year from 9 uh, in the morning until about 4 or 5 in the afternoon. You can see valleydevfest.com. I am going to have student tickets discounted $5 off the normal $20 price. The, I'll probably have that next week. And then also there's going to be a hackathon that's the 24 hours before DevFest, and it's going to be a $20 entrance fee but a $500 prize. So you can know about that. And then I'm holding a cloud study jam as part of my machine learning course. Um, that's going to be in the second nine weeks uh, of not a four unit course. Uh, it's going to be held down at Bitwise. Uh, if you don't know about machine learning, you're going to learn a little bit about it in this course because I'm going to introduce the concepts. But it's definitely changing the way we're doing a lot of different things in technology, but it's artificial intelligence and how we implement and create what's called models. So it's uh, definitely leading edge, and I'm excited to be teaching it. Uh, the last thing I would say is if you have Netflix, I highly recommend you check out a documentary called The Great Hack that talks about um, what happened with uh, uh, Facebook, Cambridge Analytica in the 2016 elections. I just finished it this week and it was really great and I think it's worth watching. So the other thing is is that uh, because it is a small class um, I uh, sometimes we don't see as much interaction in the hangout so I'm going to be posting more things like today when I finish this video or when I post something new when I do new content I'll be posting that I've done that out on the hangout and it's just a great way to get support so I want you to know that um, that's why I offer it up so that you have that ability to get help additional real-time help and, and if I'm not around hopefully your classmates will be around to give you some input okay so welcome to week two and um, the content is ready for you to consume. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to go ahead and open up week three because I don't think I have any changes to that. So that'll be uh, from last semester. 
Uh, but we get into some really, uh, we finally get to get into some HTML and actually doing some coding along with our lectures versus note taking. So I know that generally most of us like to have a little more hands on experience and you're going to get quite a bit of that in this class. Okay, and I will talk to you soon. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, you can do that in the reply here. If there's anything, if you just watched the whole thing, you're like, good, I'm good with that. Cool. But if you have any specific questions, here's a great place to ask it as well. Okay, have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.